there's a new bar in town, and it's called Keto Fix. And we'll get our fix right, right after, after this. this. I'm Rachel and I'm Joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos if you're new to our channel welcome here on two crazy ketos we do different things like recipe videos we do product reviews we talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week you can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook Instagram and Twitter and we have a website which is two crazy that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to review a new bar keto fix keto fix now uh, this is a new company they reached out to us and said hey would you guys try our product will i try chocolate chocolate yeah of yes course. i will and it's a bar yes absolutely yes we will now i do want to disclose uh, we did not pay for these they sent them to us and said hey can you give us a review and i said no problem but we're going to give you an honest review sorry so we are not affiliated with them we don't even have a coupon code or anything like that but there is a link down in the description if you want to order them directly from them yeah are you ready for this let's do this kind of just like i like the Plain packaging. Now, I don't know Keep if this simple. is the final packaging or if this is just like the prototype, you know, kind of thing. Final um, answer. It's just kind of, it's a white box with just a label across the top of it. Now, I have not looked at the nutrition, so who knows what I'm eating. Oh, gracious. So we'll go ahead and open this up. There, it says keto on it, but you know. It says keto. It does say on the front, We've three been net before. carbs. Okay. So it's about the same size as... All of the other bars that we get out there. Yeah. Dense. It says premium chocolate coconut. Ooh. Keto, three net carbs, two grams of sugar, GMO free. Okay, you ready? We're yeah. not going to read the nutrition. Gonna say, We're just going to try don't it, Don't right? cheat. Okay. Ooh, it's that fatty kind of bar. It's the fatty kind of. Ooh, it's broken. That's even better. Okay. Ready? Here we go. So you can see all of that fat on there. So hopefully it's got some good macros. Now you said, oh good, it's broken. Does, is that because the macros don't count on That's a broken right. bar? Of course, right? Now, I, and now I'm only eating a half a serving because it's broken. There you go. We are going out to eat, so I don't want to spoil. Yeah, it's the greasy kind. It's the greasy it kind. It looks like the butter globs are in it. Yeah, ready? Definitely taste the coconut. I don't really taste the chocolate. <laughs> hmm. Are you there... want to taste the chocolate? Yeah. Mmm. It's, it's not butter globs. It's pieces it's of coconut. It's shreds of coconut. It's shreds of coconut. Very nice. It's got... It's got a hint of an almond joy. A very, a very, very hint. It's very not, light. It's a, a hint. The chocolate isn't a strong chocolate. It's really more coconutty. Yes. But not bad. I'm going to take one more little bite. Let's look for a piece of chocolate. Is there another piece of chocolate? There's not a lot of, like, I was expecting more globs of chocolate. I think where it broke, there's a piece of chocolate. Yeah. So, like, see, see, like, there's a glob of chocolate there, but then there's none over here. It's not a super sweet bar. Mm, tastes good. It's got a good taste. Mm -hmm. The texture's a little off for me. So it's not like a lot of those other bars out there, and I hate to compare it, but like the Perfect Keto Bar, where it's very soft, almost like stick to your teeth. This is a little bit denser, like almost like halfway between like that Perfect Keto style bar and a Quest Bar. It's yeah. a little bit denser. A little bit chewier. It's like there's portions of it that are really globby. Like the chocolate chips are very wet, like very moist, like just coming apart in your mouth. But the 
the the bar around it is not moving. And I do want to say it is not hot here. Yes, we live in South Florida. We got the AC on. We've got the AC on. So I'm wearing a sweater. We've been going through a little bit of a cold spell. So it's only about 69, 70 degrees in the house. So it's not like this is melty because we're in South Florida and it's hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So we we're going to go with number one, the ingredients. Do you want to handle this one? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to grab another one so I can read tiny. it. Tiny. So the ingredients are organic almond butter, grass-fed whey protein concentrate, Chicory root fiber, organic coconut, almonds, 100% cacao chocolate chips, sunflower lecithin, organic vegetable glycerin, cacao butter, erythritol, MCT oil from coconut, organic cocoa, natural flavors, and sea salt. So it's got pretty good ingredients. Very nice. Again, yeah, it's got chicory root fiber. I don't have an issue with it. A lot of the bars do have it. So mm -hmm. long as to me, it's not the main ingredient. GMO free. It comes down to how much actual fiber are they claiming, which we'll get into with number two. Yeah. So number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label. I'll handle this one. All right. We've got a serving size is one bar. And again, it's about the same size as all of the other bars on the market. Yeah, bar comparable. Um, 220 calories, 15 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, so not quite as fatty as some of the other bars, yeah. but it does have a good flavor. Uh, 14 total carbohydrates, I like that. 9 grams of dietary fiber and 2 grams of sugar alcohol. That's going to make it three, three net carbs. Nice. Okay, so it does have a little bit of fiber in there, or 9 grams of fiber. I wish that fiber was just a little bit lower. Um, but overall, 14 total carbs is kind of my cap on carbs on yeah. a bar. Yeah. We're starting to see some that are like 20 plus yeah. total carbs. I'm so, staring away from those. So I'm actually really glad that it's in that range. I like seeing the bars in like 11, 12, 13, 14 is kind of my cap on them. And I'm really looking for things with as little fiber as possible. I'd yeah. rather have a little bit more total carbs but not be playing that fiber game. So mm -hmm. I'd rather be 14 total carbs, you know, 14 total carbs, maybe five or six net carbs and not play that fiber game. But mm -hmm. that's just my personal preference. Okay, so number three, how does it taste? I think it tastes really good. It is not a dessert bar. No. It is not a keto bar. It is definitely going to be something that's more of like a meal replacement option or something to add with your meal, but you don't want to have your sugar tooth triggered. Right. It's really not very sweet at all to me. It's it's very coconutty. It tastes really good. Honestly, probably this is the type of thing that I should lean toward because when I get into the really, really sweet ones, then it kind of can, you know, send me down a slippery slope. I would probably not eat a box of these in a sitting. This is not like a built bar taste to it. It's not a candy bar taste. So I kind of like that because I feel like it's going to help me stick to just one of them. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I'm going to say I like the taste. I think you nailed it. I think Rachel nailed it in that I always compare everything to my favorite bar, which is the Perfect Keto Bar. It's got a similar texture, but maybe a little bit chewier, but it is not as sweet as the Perfect Keto Bar. No. So, yeah, I probably would slow down eating it. Yeah. Because if you look... It's the only, it's got erythritol in it, but that's ver at the very bottom. Above, only thing below that is MCT oil and organic cocoa. So all of the fibers and everything else are above it. So it, it first of all, it's got erythritol and it does not have a cooling effect. It at does all. not have any cooling say that. effect. No. The chocolate, the little globs of chocolate are not sweet at all. No, it's like a dark. It's like eating a melted dark chocolate. Bitter sweet. Not, yeah. not sweet at all. Like yeah. just the bitter it's, part. And it's not even super bitter. It's no. just like a melted unsweetened chocolate. Yeah. Um, It's not bad. It's pretty good. Is, is it the best tasting in the world? No. If you don't want something super sweet, you'll probably say yes. If you want something really sweet, you're probably going to say no. No. I would compare it to, on the sweetness level, a keto brick. 
Yes. Yes, because I thought you were going to say like a keto fit bar, and I'd be like, no. No, keto that's fit, that's another sweet much bar. sweeter. And again, I hate comparing to, but I know, listen, the bottom line is they're latecomers on the market, so there's yeah. a lot of people ahead of them. So I feel like the best way you guys we can know what's out there. tell you guys what this tastes like and give them their due justice yeah. is say, this is what it tastes like. So if you've ever had a keto bread, yeah. it's the sweetness level of a keto bread. It's got a little bit, but it's not like overwhelming. I'm eating a candy bar. But- like I said, I have trouble with bars. I could see you putting these in a freezer and maybe eating a half when like it's that time of the month and you want a little bit of a yeah, bar chocolate fix. Exactly, but not overdoing it. So I really feel like this would actually help me be more successful. Yeah. And again, if you put it in the freezer, you probably won't eat the whole bar. Maybe just because it's no. frozen, you can just kind of gnaw on it and chew on it a little bit and give you that satisfaction. Yeah. Okay. So number four. How much does it cost? Okay, so is it cost prohibitive? That's my thing. I did look up on their website, and again, we are not affiliated with them. We don't have a coupon code. Um, I will reach out to them and ask them if they can give a coupon code for those of you who may want to purchase them. Yeah. If they give it to me, I will put it uh, down in the description. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not sure. Like I said, we're, they just asked us to review it. Uh, and it is 39, I think it was 39.99 for the box. 39.99. So it's pretty much on par with all of the other bars how many that are, are out in there. A, in There's the 12 bars in a box. So how much does it wound up being? It's about what, 350, okay. 325, something like that. All right. So same price as pretty much every other bar out there. They're pretty much all $40 for a box of 12. If they have decent ingredients, you can get things that are cheaper, but that's when you get into like really wonky ingredients that you cannot feel good about. Yeah. <laughs> So number five, would we recommend this? I would absolutely recommend this to Rachel. Really? Somebody who has a hard time with bars that are sweet, but still needs a grab and go option in their life. I feel like this is something that would serve a purpose, but wouldn't trigger me to go down a slippery slope because it's not super sweet and it's just doing its job. Right? Like, and I like the fact that I can see the shards of coconut and I see the chocolate in there, but it's not a sugar bomb in my mouth. And I think this would help me. Well, I'm glad to hear that because, like, everybody knows I love my bars, but I'm able to use them like for like a little thing to tide me over until my, you know, main meal because maybe I'm going to games or something like that. You know, I can have a box of bars. I've actually had bars where they got hard because I didn't eat them and they sat on the shelf too long and there's no preservatives in them. So sometimes I feel a little guilty that I'm eating the bars and Rachel always tells me, you need to hide them so that I can't find them. Yeah. Not that I'm being mean to her. She's just like, if I see them, I'm going to grab one every time I walk past the box. It's true. So I'm glad that there is a bar that will give you that, hey, I want a little dessert fix without like destroying your sweet tooth kind Undoing of thing. Undoing my entire week. And that's the thing is we talk about all the time, like what is it that you can eat that is like a little kind of snacky thing. Maybe if you even if you're going to the movies and you want that little piece of candy bar or oh, something yeah, like that. Oh yeah, this would be great. But what can you have? A lot of the things like nuts or actual like keto chocolate, things like that, you don't ever have that stopping mechanism. And yeah. why? Because they are so sweet that like those like things that trigger like it, you're had enough, it goes out the window. I think this has got just the right amount of sweetness without getting into you're eating a candy bar. And I think it's gonna it is it's got enough protein and fat. It satiates. Yeah, it really does. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have ever tried the Keto Fix bar. Again, I'll leave a link down below. If they do happen to give us a coupon code, I will put that down there as well. Uh, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time, bye. bye.